what's up youtube welcome back to the channel panda here and we are playing some watcher of realms guys it's that day again it's that day again monday is the day where we find out the future in watcher of realms uh i'm going to talk about this every time because there's going to be new people who have just started the game but if you didn't know there's an event calendar in the game it shows up here under events and it shows you everything that's happening for the entire week that you're currently in so from last saturday until the next friday we have everything that's in the game currently and everything that will come in the game between now and friday which means that next weekend summon events appear on monday and so we're able to see what is coming over the weekend which is very important because it allows us to have access to information about the future so that we can prepare ourselves for the future for example we still currently have this one plus one and the two times, 10 times summon event that's going on right now. And so we could continue to summon right now. It's a very good time to summon. However, now that we know what's coming on Friday, which spoiler alert, it's very, very good for a lot of people. We can choose if we want to hold our summons or continue to summon on the two times 10 X and the one plus one banners. So let's go ahead and dive into the summons that we have coming up. We're going to start with the less exciting one, which is the crazy invocation of spirits and the crazy divine summoning. This is pretty typical, guys. A lot of the times we go 2x, 10x, 2x, 10x. This week is a little bit different with the uh, 2x and 10x at the same time. So it's a little bit better. So if you're pulling, if you want to save for just the 2x, I'd recommend pulling probably now because we already have a 2x. And if you pull something really good on that 2x, it'll give you more progression over the week. However, I can understand maybe you already have all the 10x champions or you're not interested in the 10x champions and you want to hold. You could hold for Friday where the 2x will come back with no 10x applied even rates for all champions in the game however the other banner that i want to talk about is for both divines and invocations of spirits which is your gold and your blues and that is this summon pool right here and guys this summon pool is very 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 good for a lot of people and i'm going to explain to you why i want to start with the epics the first one probably the least exciting is aatrox Aatrox is a good champion, don't get me wrong. He's part of a chaotic and cultist faction, which is very, very good because he's two faction trials, which is awesome. We love that. He's also good in arena because he has chaotic, which means he has a cost reduction of two. And his cost starts very low at seven as is. He's also very good at dealing a lot of damage because he deals AoE damage with his ultimate and also leaves AoE damage on the ground when he dies. So he's a very good champion, don't get me wrong. However, he is probably one of the most pulled champions in the game. I see people with tons of Aatroxes. However, there are two epic champions on here that are very good. We'll start with the next one that I consider probably the second best, and that is Baron. Baron is a phenomenal tank. He's also a part of the Nightmare Faction, which is very good because we get access to Wrath as a free epic lord for the Nightmare Faction, which means you already have the lord to make him that much stronger. Baron is very good for a lot of different things, including some cheese tactics and also just being a very powerful tank. He has this physical attack as a basic. He has a passive that allows him to grant himself unyielding which means he cannot die for four seconds after receiving lethal damage and when that unyielding ends he deals aoe damage equal to 50 percent of his max hp to nearby enemies this can only be triggered one time per battle this is very very good uh, because it allows you to do some cheese methods including cheesing the guild boss in order to beat the second or third shield if you don't quite have the damage to beat it you can remove all your champions leave baron there he will guarantee survive and then you can place your champions back down afterwards um it's very good he's also very good in gear raid 2 for kind of the same purpose he's a very strong tank there because the rollies in that gear raid deal a ton of damage and he cannot die the first time he dies which is very very powerful but not only that he has a very powerful shield on his ultimate that absorbs damage equal to 70 percent of his max hp for 10 seconds and when the shield disappears or gets broken it deals aoe damage so it's a very very powerful shield um which i think is very good he's a overall very very powerful champion um he also has some pretty good awakens he gains 15 percent uh, attack and defense on his ultimate uh when he's shielded um he also has a three second duration to his immortal wrath so he ends up staying alive for even longer which is very good and then his a5 recovers 50 percent health at the end of immortal wrath as well um which if you remembered his immortal wrath 
deals damage equal to 50% of his max HP at the end, but he's going to be at zero health. He might have his shield up. Um, giving that 50% HP makes it harder for him to die a second time. So very, very good awakens. He's a very good champion. Awesome. However, the thing that I think I'm the most excited about when it comes to the epic is our girl, Laurel. If you aren't familiar with Laurel, guys, she is phenomenal. She's one of the best support champions in the game, specifically for her talent. Her talent here gives her increased rage regen of one on her basic attacks. But the thing that's most important is the second part, which is additionally, upon death, provides surrounding allies with a restoration of 50% of their rage cap upon death. So this is what a lot of people use her for. What they'll do is you build her to five star, you promote her to five star, she unlocks her talent at promotion number five. And then what you can do don't even have to have gear on her. A lot of people will put, put Invigoration or Rapidity. Uh, invigoration allows you to give that attack buff. Rapidity lowers her cost by one. And then you're able to place her, quickly remove her, boost everyone around her's rage by 50%. And then they can use her ultimates again and deal a lot, a lot of damage. This is a strategy, strategy that's used in several areas. Primarily, this is used in Gear Raid 2 to boost people such as Comet in order to deal damage in the right order because she has a very large uh, rage pool, and so this allows her to get to her ultimate a lot faster. A lot of people will also use this in Gear Raid 3 in order to boost Dolores and Idril in order to have her ultimate up almost 100% of the time due to having Idril at A5 increasing her duration every time she gets a kill and then having a laurel in here to boost her rage regen so she's very 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 rarely outside of her ultimate laurel is phenomenal i would be pulling on this banner for laurel if laurel was the only person on here i don't care i need laurel on my account she's going to make things so so much easier in fact i may even be willing to boost her higher because getting a3 on laurel reduces her cost by one the rest of her stuff is not very you know it's not crazy you know, it's okay, but a lot of the times you're not going to have her on the field. So having her ultimate boost is not that crazy. A lot of the times you're putting her in and pulling her out, but getting to A3 for that one cost and reduction makes her cost only 12 instead of 13, which means it's even easier to place her and remove her. Very nice. Ultimately, though, one copy of Laurel, five star, doesn't take a lot of investment, and she's good. She's worth it. She does her job. Then, of course, we have the two legendaries, and guys, one of them is new. You're not going to know anything about him. I'm going to make a video on him. Don't worry. But then we have our girl, Vierna. And in my opinion, Vierna is probably the second best champion in the game for one reason and one reason only. One, she's, she's actually a pretty good champion on her own. Don't get me wrong. She does a lot of damage. She has an execute, which a lot of people... In fact, I think she's one of the only few pe only people in the game that has it. I think there's one other one, uh, which is very powerful in places such as Void Rift. However, the main reason that she's good, guys is because she bonds with Silas. <laughs> Having Silas and Vierna makes Silas the best champion in the game, bar none. He literally doubles his damage during his ultimate, which is crazy because his ultimate is already very powerful to begin with. Having Vierna is going to change a lot of people's accounts who already have Silas. I know a few people that have A1, A2, A3 Siluses and have no Vierna. Those people are going to pull on this banner until they get at least one copy of Vierna, I promise you, because it's going to completely change their accounts. Now I'm pulling on this banner for Laurel, but I'm also pulling on this banner for Vienna for two reasons. One, I need AoE mages, and that's exactly what she is. She does a ton of AoE magic damage. Very, very powerful. I don't have a lot of AoE magic damage. Vierna is going to allow me to probably push gear raid 1 to at least stage 20, even without having heal reduction, because of how much powerful damage she does, including the executed. Uh, sorry, the execute mechanic, uh, because it allows them to execute and deal a lot of damage without actually dealing damage which is very powerful especially when things are being healed as long as you can deal i believe it's what 65 percent of their health they're gonna die which is very very powerful in gear raid one because of the healing that elowen provides on stages 19 20 and 21 but not only that eventually i will pull a silas and having a vierna who is a very rare champion to pull is going to make it so that when i get that silas he is already his best self. 
even with a single copy because I have Vierna. So guys, I'm not going to go over the other champion. His name is Kai. He looks really cool. He's apparently a pretty decent marksman. He is similar to people such as Nyx and Razak, uh, but I'm very excited about him as well just because he's a new champion, which is always exciting. We'll have a separate video on him completely. But guys, if you want to have some crazy, crazy progression on your accounts and you don't have Baron, Laurel, or Vierna, highly recommend pulling on this banner coming up this weekend, especially if you're close to a pity. I know a lot of people that pulled on the one plus one didn't get lucky and are close to pity now. This could be your chance to hit something very good, such as a Vierna, which could be game changing for your account. But guys, that's going to be it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are pulling this weekend. I know I will be pulling. I'm very excited. I'm holding all of my gems. Probably going to even save some diamonds because I really, really need Laurel. I would love a Baron. And if I get a Vierna, I would be ecstatic. But guys, that's it for me today. If you liked this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more content from me in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.